Hi Libra, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks for all your support. I appreciate your energy so we can do the readings. I love you. I send you my love and positive energy every day. We will continue to be connected here. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. Don't ever try to make it fit. You could also check other parts of your chart or even on Monday, the style of reading is different every week. So you can also look around on Mondays and um, there's a pick a card. There's a love reading. I do monthly readings on Mondays. I also do quarterly and yearly readings too. And most uh, timing is appropriate on those. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Libra? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Libra need to know, please? What messages do you have for Libra for their best and highest good? All right. So we've got here, we'll do the tarot and then we'll do an angel answers oracle card reading as well. Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, Nine of Swords, King of Cups, who? The Devil, the World, the Hermit. Oh, this is really cool. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I love it. Well, when I saw that king, knight, queen, and king, that's strong. That's really awesome. I do feel like you have a new phase in a relationship. It's beautiful, though. Um, you've also got here something about letting go of some restriction, especially if you feel guilt, like somebody's been giving you guilt trips about things. I think you're going to start to see them in a new light, and it's going to help you let go of that, whatever it is that they've imparted on you. But you do have to love you know, the king and the queen together, right? You don't see this very often, the way he looks at her. And the other thing I always like to point out is, is the differences in their cups, right? But those are big cups. Hers is very ornate, but they are, there's definitely a deep connection here with somebody. It could be a Virgo, could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You do have Capricorn here too, so that's possible. But the Knight of Cups, that's a visionary card. So if you're single, visualize. They're telling you to do it. It's really about seeing the future together. It's being in this place of knowing this knowing. There is a knowing for somebody here in a relationship. You know you've met your match. And there's deep love here. Now, those of you, again, that are single, when we visualize, we do it with the first person as if we are experiencing this. That's how we impart it on our subconscious. The subconscious believes what you tell it. So, you know, if we're doing things like checking somebody's social media and you'd never do that if you were with them or driving past their house or doing other things that you would not do if you were dating them, again, it's the subconscious knows you're doing that. You're programming it to know that you're not together. So be act as if. It's uh, much like the magician teaches us to do. So the Queen of Cups has intuition. Um, now, in a relationship, though, I mean, there's definitely one here. It's that unconditional love. She is the, she's also the mother that loves her kids regardless of what they do. So for some of you, too, she's a very passive mother. So sometimes she has, this can be an energy of somebody that has kids that are a bit um, spirited and they don't get a lot of redirection. And so it's like their creative juices are on high. The beast mode is flipped on to on for creativity and they don't really have many boundaries but um with this though she does love deep and it's an energy too of you know having a lot of creativity she's also a fertility we don't always mention that with her um but overall she you know she leads a good life it's all about having those rich relationships and love and unconditional regard for people so you will have in this reading i definitely see it you are attracting people and you may find that people do nice things for you randomly in public. Maybe somebody pays for your drink in line um, or some some of those little things where people give you things because they, maybe they don't need it, but they go, oh, you know, this looks like, yeah, here, do you want it? 
that kind of stuff where it seems like it starts to happen a lot and it's because you're in that energy field. You attract what you are, not what you want. And when you're in that energy field, you're attracting a lot of positivity. So I do feel like this goes along with the devil, especially with that black backdrop. You've paid the price of contrast for some with somebody here. And it does feel like you're, you've been trying to let go of something from the past. It's still, it's one of those things though, when it, when it comes into your awareness, it still hurts. And so forgiveness is the key. That's what sets you free and it's not for them, it's for you. And so with this nine of cups, it indicates some anxiety, some restlessness. I do feel like it's tied very specifically to something because the rest of the reading is all about love and growth and expansion, wisdom. It's not this, there's freedom in the rest of your energy field. So it does feel like this may be the final push, you know, to to release yourself from something from the past. Um, and if it was a if it was a marriage that ended, you got somebody new here. So with the King of Cups, this is a very mature relationship, and it's a love that grows. There's depth here. It also too though the King of Cups is also a card of self development. So it's, you know, keep putting yourself on that mental diet. The Emmett Fox seven day mental diet is always a good one um, to listen to. And so we're editing our own thoughts, but the thoughts become things when we put strong emotions with them. So with the King of Cups, he materializes great things because he doesn't stay in those lower vibrational realms. He won't stay down there. And so when you're in this energy, you're high vibrational and you're attracting positive energies around you. So for some, it's like it's this final push to separate yourself from something from the past. It doesn't feel very good. And again, there is development here, self-development. So it's working on yourself, listening to, you know, if there's talks that you like, um, podcasts that you like, reading materials and, and editing what you watch on television. So you're not pulling yourself down. And even the conversations, if there's controversial or conversations about topics you just don't care about and they're negative, you may find yourself uh, going towards other people. You know how that goes. So with the devil here, he's got a restricted repetitive energy. It is an obsession. He's got the obsession of the mind. He can also be a card of an alcoholic, the obsession of the mind, the compulsion to drink. Um, but it's a repetitive cycle here. And so there's limiting beliefs here. He's an energy of restriction. And it's not, you know, it's like seeing things through somebody else's lens in a negative way, right? It's not through the eyes of source here. And so uh, with the devil energy, it's time to break free of that. It's time for liberation from this because he's got a very limited energy. And he's very... Um, much as you know becomes a slave to that cycle so um with this there's um you know that downward staff it doesn't illuminate anything so for some it can be somebody who just doesn't live up to their potential and maybe you tried with them and they just were not ready to change they're still not changing i don't see that happening here but with this it can be somebody who's to, who will lie when it's easier to tell the truth. You know, they're in this cycle where they'll look right at you and lie. And so it's time to be free of him. Um, so with the world here, you know, we've got wonderful, wise energy and a new cycle beginning here when we start to look at the hermit, the world, and the hanged man. There's definitely a new cycle that releases all resistance. Now, I like to point this out because it doesn't happen that often um, that the hanged man and the world are together. Look at their legs, okay? They both are representative of the number four. I turned the hanged man upside down. If you didn't notice, I specifically did that um, because he really hangs this way. But I wanted you to notice the similarities in the cards. So again, that can indicate four weeks, four months. I, I've mentioned this in somebody's reading. I don't remember whose. I used to put my legs in that position when I was falling asleep. I have no idea why. And then when I realized that the world and the hanged man were doing it, it just kind of made me laugh. I had somebody, I mentioned it before, and somebody else told me they did it too. <laughs> so you may say I'm channeling my inner world because this is Nirvana. If, the, if you're the one who does that, it is a card of, it's a card of changing your perspective. So somebody here you have a change and I do feel like it relates to that devil and it sets you free because this is freedom, expansion, 
joy. It is true bliss when you're in this energy. It's feeling on top of the world. And it's also too, with um, in reference to uh, more mystical things, we talk about the Queen of Cups being intuitive, but the world dances in this wreath of victory, but it's a portal into the divine. So some of you may find that you have more what seem like mystical experiences. There's just more, you know, things where you have a knowing and it, it happens. Those knowings come into your re reality. And so that's part of your senses and your intuition. So with the world, it is achievement, it's success, it's finally, right? It's that finally that you've been waiting for. So the hermit is a great partner to the world. The major arcana are all these life experiences. You have four of them right in a row. So there's a very empowered energy here. And, the, and they're the experiences that your soul has to have while you're here on this earth. So when the soul meets the hermit, it's all about higher wisdom and guidance. This is a very Zen, very deep spiritual energy. This isn't the kind of energy that or experience or spirituality that you get having drinks after work or you know, going down and talking to your, your favorite person at Starbucks. This is like going deep. And so they tell you when you are in this energy that you are on the right path. And there's great forgiveness here. So those of you that that devil energy, that toxic cycle, you have to forgive yourself or somebody else. You're doing it because this, the hanged man is surrendered to win. You release all resistance in this energy and that illumination around his head. He's got, he's got a, he's on a vision quest. It's seeing your life in the way that you want it and nothing will stop you. You release the resistant energy that we pick up in the devil and it allows things to flow and grow around you. You've got a change of heart here. And I do feel like for some of you, if it's a new relationship, um, we talked a lot about relationship. I apologize, we didn't get much into the money, right? Um, but it can be too on a, another level, if it's not a new relationship, it can be about really following your heart's desires. If you were in a job that restricted you, or you were in some kind of a living environment that restricted you, you're walking free of all that restriction and that just builds momentum so that you're attracting those things that you want every step of the way. So there is definitely some restriction here and it's being replaced by something really beautiful. So if you believe, ask, believe, receive here, remain positive because you definitely have beautiful energy around you forgiveness all right we talked about that that's the key lets you or sets you free within the next few weeks they say and you've got a yes so great things are on the way for you libra i love you and i'll be back again soon